Okay guys, the thing I have to tell you, I have found my favorite place in Sri Lanka, my favorite beach town and I would say let's let this scenery talk a little bit more for me right now. So we are in the beach town of Ahangama, Sri Lanka and I have to tell you, I've been in the country for already over a month. I came back because I kind of didn't fully enjoy the beaches here. I liked them, they were nice, but they were very busy, they weren't very wide and it just felt like there's more to see. So I extended my visa and this is where I ended up. I Today I want to take you along a little bit on this town which is called Ahangama. And speaking about traveling to a new country, potential travel restrictions and requirements, let me tell you about personally the travel medical insurance that I use. Essential thing to have if you're traveling, if you're living remotely, which is the travel medical insurance. That's where today's video partner, Safe to Win, comes in. So you see, what makes them different is just how flexible they are. If you go for a couple of weeks of a trip, you need a medical insurance, boom, they got you covered. It's very easy to set it up, a couple of minutes, you go on a website. If you travel long term for months or years, you're living remotely, Safety Wing is also a good option for that. So it's very flexible in terms of their membership. And it's also fairly affordable. If you compare them to the major competitors at a similar insurance value, of course, worldwide coverage, 24 seven hotline in case something ever happens. I'll make sure to leave all the details in the description. You know, these days many countries require you to have a travel medical insurance and with Safety Wing, within pretty much setting it up a couple of minutes, you can get the certificate. It's very easy and official document that all the airports will accept in English, of course. And I would say one of the easiest and most effective solutions. Safety Wing, check them out down below. little uh, pineapple here to start the day. With this cup mm -hmm. and open the door. Yeah. All right. Very nice. All right. Right now I have just moved in to the hotel. I'll be staying for the next few days. It is called The Hotel. So the name of The Hotel is The Hotel Sri Lanka, and I have to tell you, this place is beautiful. The entrance when you walk in, it's kind of like a, let's say, fairly small boutique hotel, but it makes it feel just so cozy. You're right by the water. They have a fantastic cafe. I've already had some coffee and some food there. So I'll take you along over the next few days here as well. So this is, I think, their pretty much like, let's say, deluxe um, ocean view room. And uh, what an ocean view room it is. So definitely a very nice minimalist design, concrete, got a nice bed very very nice boutique bathroom and uh, i'll show you around here as well over the next few days i'm really excited to have dinner tonight here because they're cooking on a wooden fireplace but for right now i would say it's time to get on two wheels and uh, yeah see a little bit what this town is all about so my number one reason was come for the beaches but number two i wanted to find something that is a little bit calmer a little bit more authentic while still have some Basically, in the other beach towns, there was just a lot of like really, really regular, like let's say, little like uh, restaurants. But here so far, I've seen some really, really cool places, including this hotel, including some other spots I walked by. So I want to show you around today. Uh, let's go. It is their new year actually right now. I spontaneously walked out to a cafe. Almost everything is closed. Almost everybody went home, but they are inviting you for a party here in the local cafe for New Year's. Wow, what a feast that is. That is all traditional Sri Lankan. Looks very original. All sweet or? All sweet though. Wow. Sugar shock incoming. All right. So what is the thing about New Year's in Sri Lanka? Most people celebrate with their family? So everything is empty because everybody goes home or? Okay, I see. 
Well, well, some Sri Lankan coffee. <laughs> so guys, sound is setting. I would say this is the moment I fell in love with Ahangama. I was just describing to someone kind of like this feeling of a place where not that much is developed, but yet there's like 10, 20 nice cafes, 10, 20 nice hotels, and it just feels right. You have to kind of like know where to go to. You have to know where to look for. This is the Cactus Cafe, super nice beach down there some busyness is going on in the back and yeah absolutely beautiful vibe and honestly like this is what i mean it's like right by the beach there's not too many of these shots but there's another like somewhat fancy cafe and yeah <laughs> out but first a little bit I would say of breakfast time so the hotel is right by the beach the breakfast place yesterday I had dinner there let me just show you you will see it very soon so basically it's like a nice small little hotel felt really comfortable here for the past like 24 hours very much boutique let's walk a little bit through the lobby so given good weather conditions which most of the times we are having this is pretty much what you're walking out into every single morning and evening. So as always, I'm a little bit, let's say, last minute for the breakfast. Good morning for a quick breakfast. All right. Can we do avocado toast for breakfast? Okay guys, so this is their Alaya restaurant here, also where they serve breakfast. I have to tell you one thing, the vibe here really is so different from the rest of Sri Lanka that I've experienced before. The nature feels really massive. So basically this is their uh, also restaurants. In the evenings, yesterday actually I tried their food, is absolutely fantastic. But really, let, let's say like that, anywhere else in the world probably would be even more expensive. Obviously this place is priced a little bit higher, but Yesterday, the starters, the dessert, everything was super amazing. It gets really busy, so if you're planning to come through, have some drinks, have some dinner, I would say probably one of the best places up into in Sri Lanka so far. And what really makes it is they have a fireplace, they have their own fireplace, have a nice little bar, so in the evenings, the vibe here is really, really nice. But get quite busy so depending what day you come as you see right now super peaceful and uh, let me say like that ahangama for me the past few days as i've been walking around you go down all the way back there and it's just pure massive nature so the thing about most beaches they're kind of like a bay in sri lanka that i've seen before so if you go further down the coast here there's going to be veligama marissa which are all more of a bay the water is more calm perhaps better for swimming but also more developed so here there's only a couple of hotels only a couple of nice cafes and you see this uh, people basically surfing in the background i think here at the the hotel they also have surfboards that you can land out so boom just go down these stairs okay guys so i've been testing the waters here a little bit and i have to tell you it feels raw Basically, you can swim quite nicely here. Right now, I think the waves are a little bit bigger than they usually are. But going in, no problem. Pure sand in this one corner. But the best part is this little island in the back. When you're in the water, you're just kind of looking on it. And uh, truly a nice little adventure factor, even when you are staying in such a nice place. <laughs> driving out right now to explore right now a little bit Ahangama first thing you're gonna notice is the nature here is just insane so look at this this is most beaches around here very long the waves are hitting strong and the nature just feels powerful so 
honestly in terms of just like the vibe the ocean vibe i would probably say that a hangama takes the cake especially considering i had the scooter was driving around the other beach towns close by veligama marissa everything is much more quiet um the waters but much busier in terms of tourism so this is kind of like a raw place in many ways just the way i like it so here we got my my blue little demon that is transporting me around the island let's go to the main street of ahangama and see what is going on there wear your helmet around here for sure otherwise you're gonna be in trouble with the police Okay guys, so one of the things right away I like a lot about the town of Ahangama is that mostly it's a local village. People are going about the day-to-day -day life, which you see some like, I guess, school, university students or whatever. Uh, it's, I'm sure it's a very low population. We're about to drive into the main town. But at the same time, there's a couple of super, super nice cafes, a nice kind of like area I want to show you right now. What's up, boys? Hey! So I like it that it's not like a fully taken over by tourism village. Well, well, this is the main street. This is the main town of Ahangama. So actually fairly busy. We got some nice music popping in the back end here. One of the nice cafes. I've checked it out the other day, Marshmallow Beach and Cafe. So let's see what we can find in here maybe some beautiful food maybe some interesting beaches excuse me sir you're on my seat i'm sorry yeah how you doing good to see you all righty so we knew who we're gonna meet here i guess so you've been here for a bit uh yeah for a minute uh so yeah, in the first videos of this video series, you have been already a guest. Yeah, so, it's been uh, three weeks, I think, in Matt. Yeah, so you're very much for a month in Sri Lanka right now? Yeah, it's almost in a few days, it's going to be months. It's time to leave before nice. I extend my visa. Otherwise, oh. I'm going to be here another three months. The right, the right choice to spend the rest here. So I just drove down from... Uh, oh, actually, this is the Ahangama video. I was about to say I drove down from Veligama, but this is the video for Ahangama. What's your thoughts on the town? It's beautiful. Uh, it's, I think, as you mentioned, it's one of the towns that still sacred like spots, a lot yeah. of them, and it's not super touristy like Ikadua or uh, Hirketia, for example. So basically, I bought the scooter. I just dropped down from Veligama. It's a different world. People yeah. walk on the beach. There's tons of people. Like every, you get stopped every 20 seconds. Here, it's yeah. peace. It's still not a city. It's still a small town. You have the village vibe. You have the modern places like here. But you got at least like. 10 good cafes or something. Yeah. And you know what, actually the Wi-Fi here in some places is pretty good. Have you tried? Like better than down, like I was at the like big hotels down there, it's not as good as some here, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. internet get... is a problem in Sri Lanka. But There's here, only yeah. a few spots where you can upload your YouTube videos. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, basically what I mean is like you have reasonable convenience here, nice places, decent Wi-Fi, but still kind of like a little bit undiscovered in many ways, so yeah. Happy oh. to be back. Yeah. Nice. This is the beach, guys. Full beachfront. I guess let me just walk out a little bit. So this is what I mean. Empty beach. You got this nice cafe, and the food is actually really good. Alrighty. We have all the coffees here. Uh, very nice. With a little marshmallow, matching the cafe. All right, dude. Good to see Cheers. you again. We'll wrap nice it up. To Start together. Finish yes, together. Finish together. Exactly. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you know, considering the prices, how much is this one? Like 800, 900 rupees? Uh, I'm gonna say something wrong, maybe we're gonna get. Oh, so, uh, ice latte is 1,100. Okay, not cheap. I was about to say the prices are pretty good, but like three, four bucks. Yeah, but Kinda this like, is more like Western style yeah, yeah. place, so the prices are higher. So, generally, I would say food is actually priced quite reasonable. Coffees, if you want to have a good coffee, it's actually not easy to find good coffee. That's the other thing I wanted to mention. Alright, alright. So, beach access it is. 
So the first day I came down here in Ahangama to the main beach. The main thing you kind of know this basically is there's not that much going on. So basically the busy town we just drove is one layer behind it and all you kind of have is like one nice cafe here, another one there, maybe the third one. This is where they let's say had the New Year celebration uh, today. Kind of like the waves, the tide is much much higher than the other day. But yeah, basically beautiful beach, fairly kind of like blue turquoise water here in the evenings quite a nice and busy bar so basically that's really what makes this town so so different the vibe is different i was just talking with davud even like the people here are a bit more it's a bit more cozy cushy in the sense of that when you walk around people hold eye contact a little bit longer than in most places um i don't know maybe it's just me maybe i'm staring people down but <laughs> uh it's it's a cool thing so out of all the places in all of Sri Lanka, this one right here is probably the one where I could imagine to set myself off for a couple of weeks. Um, maybe get like a nice guest house, hotel, whatever it may be. Uh, as said before, Wi-Fi is pretty good. So speaking from, let's say, a, a remote living perspective, the vibe on the ground is good. I'm sure you can meet some really cool people here. So uh, there's also definitely, you see, people don't just come for uh, purely travel or surfing but you also see it in the air there's some people in the cafes working with their laptops so it's kind of like a nice mix it's not full-on like hey like this is like a whatever digital nomad hotspot uh, but it's also not like a super touristy town really cozy really something so yeah uh, right now it's actually like my last week in Sri Lanka and I feel kind of on the one side happy on the other side funny that I found the beach town that I enjoyed the most at the very end but i guess the best we save for last so yeah i had an amazing stay staying at the hotel back there gonna walk around a little bit with Davud. but yeah mark it on the map if you're coming to sri lanka ahangama i think right now it's at a perfect spot of development where it's really raw really still has like a especially the nature a bit of an adventurous vibe whereas at the same time you're having these nice crusty pizza crusty crap pizza no it's not but yeah let's get back let's finish our coffee Alrighty, nice little coffee let's hop back on this scooter and let's see what is going on around the area here money and phone with knives what is the knife for to kill people oh, that's nice alrighty guys so we're just driving through that was asking funny so what is the knife for is it for <laughs> all right I got some nice shots for like an intro or something What's happening? <laughs> they have knives didn't you see knives, yeah. You're, but they were smiling still. Yeah, so. yeah. I asked him what is it for. He's like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. I'll put it at the beginning of some video. This is how they treat you in <laughs> this Sri Lanka. Is how they treat you in Sri Lanka <laughs> with the knife. Uh, All right, brother. We need to go back one kilometer down left. Yeah. There should be another so. station. What about Midigama? Midigama. Is, is there any anything interesting? But it's far from here. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Down, so so what do you need the knife for? Is the knife for food? Or for what? Animal? No animal. Oh, look at that. Are you from Russia? No, Sri Lanka. Russia? No, are you Ruski? No. Russia? Da? So, okay. Look at that. Da? Ruski, Sri Lankans. Da? <laughs> okay, let's see you guys. Okay, let's see you 2012. Okay. Bye bye, пока. So. <laughs> well, well, 
So guys, we stopping by in the neighboring town right next to Ahangama, pretty much, you know, somewhat walking distance called Medigama, very famous for their surfing here. And they're cool. Uh, you the coconut man? All right, uh, you have cool ones as well? Mr. Cool Coconut. Let's try their nuts here. Hello. <laughs> Davut has been here before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One year ago, I came here. Yeah, yeah, I had some. Yes. Now is you. Yeah, yeah. You, you we can get two coconuts. <laughs> Please. Cool. Uh, yeah. If you have yeah, Davut. So. Uh, can we get a green one? Yeah, let's make our way through the beach. Let's take a look. So that's a really cool thing. Just a couple of little shops by the beach and This is pretty much what we're looking at over there. Oh, okay. Wow, I get it now. So basically the hotel from the window We're looking at this little island. This is pretty much the other side and I mean what else can you ask for here? right by the water the waves are looking Looking very inviting actually so There's like a little peak you can walk in the front. So yeah, let's see Oh yeah, the man is the man is on it. Where's the bus park? I did. Oh, it. oh, we got another one going, right? Oh yes. Masterful. Oh, so fresh. Fresh, sweet. As they should be. Uh, yeah, you got a little straw going? Appa. Bro, be Sri Lankan, drink it straight. Oh yeah? Oh, then sure. Like an animal, let's go. Yeah, I think we're good actually. Just go ahead. Bro, cheers. Oh, cheers. You know I'm a savage. <laughs> mm. This is how you drink the coconut. I used to drink a little with seat, a straw I too, but... Ah, come on man, Fresh straws. Way. <laughs> you know, you know, we both know how you feel when you drink up straws. Uh, I think it's a different property. Oh yeah? Well then, the two chairs in the front, I think, are reserved for us, so... I hope you didn't record that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't record that. Wow, this is so good. Super fresh. Where, where are these people from? Uh, I come uh, seven so guys, months ago. these coconuts, I have to tell you, I'm uh, a coconut connoisseur at this point, and they're not all made equal. When this is a solid nine out of ten. What were you saying about Veligama? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Veligama is uh, too touristy and not so nice. There are so many better places in Sri Lanka you can be. Yeah, Fail society. Yeah, rather than being somewhere that it's just over touristy, overpriced, and yeah. Look at this, it's only 10 minutes away and you are it's a different vibe. in the nature and more natural with the village people. I think the thing, well, but at the same time you have really fancy cafes and restaurants as well, so it's kind of like a mix. And uh, I think the Velegama and Marissa, it's more of a bay, so the beach looks different, it's more quiet, and also like more quiet the waters. Here you feel like a bit like Australia, almost like pretty big waves, honestly. Yeah, quite deep, like one meter yep. and you are already down, maybe three, four meters. So guys, after you finish them, they open it up for you and they give you it's a part of coconut jelly. Oh yes. Wonderful, thank you. It's too thin, you can record. Yeah. You have a little spoon there. Ooh, so make you a spoon out of the coconut itself. Wow, look at that. Coconut jelly straight from mother nature. How's that? That's good, man. So fresh. Sometimes it's too hard mm. to eat. What happened? I'm Mark Wins. <laughs> but that was your second bite. What was the reaction? It doesn't matter, man. You have to. Have, you can fake your food or orgasm whenever you need to. You know. Feeling good? And as a coconut? Not bad. Oh, one thousand. No change. It's okay. Thank you. It's good team. Thank you so much. See you. Good luck with the business. See you next time. <laughs> Are we not going? Let's go, brother. Woo. 
Easy. Goodbye, my friend. Not lover. It has been a while. It has been a while. Bye bye. All the best. See you soon in some other country. Sri Lanka and see you in the next country. All right. Inshallah. Mashallah. Let's go. See you soon. See you. Bye bye. So that was going his way. Woo. You can give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Okay guys, and speaking of my favorite beaches, some of my favorite places in, uh, let's say, the coastal area. So Marissa, Veligama, Ahangama, everywhere I've gone to, there's only a few places that I feel like really stick out. And this place, Petty Petty, I keep coming back to it. The first very time I arrived on the coast, good coffee here, pretty good food, and on the weekends, always live music. So be it for a sunset, stopping by, breakfast. So right now I'm gonna be having dinner. Just ordered some shrimp dishes. Gonna be having that little pina colada going. Usually I don't go for the cocktails, but tonight gonna be having a little bit of fun. So I think especially because it's right by the beach. Palm trees, you hear the ocean, and you know, it's not easy to find like a good sunset spot here. And I would say this right here, it's one of the best. All right, so there'll be tonight's dinner here. I'm going for shrimp pasta. Rarely having it, but this looks fantastic. Got some tuna sashimi, some nice little drinks, iced tea. Okay guys, so what can I say? We are finishing off Sri Lanka in a very, very strong fashion. Found my favorite places in the country, found plenty of reason to come back. Another one here is the roof, one of the bigger hotels in Veli Gama, I like to come here just to like walk around a little bit, get the tent, get the cardio. And I have to tell you, uh, this is actually, yeah, Veli Gama town I told you about. I've covered it in many other videos. You can just check on the channel in the video series. I like it, but it's different. Ahangama is my little baby here at Sri Lanka. Definitely will be back, if not this year, then in the coming ones. And uh, yeah, if you're new here by any chance, uh, let's say like that. You got a world to see stands for the idea of building a life of freedom around the world so here on the, the vlog channel i just document my life my day-to-day -day, different places i go to maybe a little bit of adventure maybe a little bit of insights on like let's say different countries and why i think they might have certain benefits in terms of lifestyle and so on uh, but yeah if you want to get in touch a bit more join me as always on instagram there you can see day to day where i am usually uh yeah usually every other day i post some stories some little updates a little bit behind the scenes and um yeah on that note you too? Better world to see.